Hello guys and how are you today? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna create a Rihanna makeup look using her brand's makeup, Fenty Beauty. I am so excited to do this. I have in front of me some Fenty Beauty products, which by the way, they are so pretty. And we're already talking about packaging. We're gonna create a dark lip makeup look using her lipsticks. I am a fan of Rihanna and I think her makeup products, I heard so many good things about them. So so we have to try them. So we're gonna try to recreate this makeup look. I'm gonna try to kind of adapt it to my skin complexion. So if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. And if you did that already, thank you very much. It means a lot to me. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for this makeup look, I see she has kind of dewy skin. I see she has contour, dark burgundy lips, and uh, a burgundy, I see like a mauve burgundy blush. Definitely she has eyeliner and false lashes. We're gonna try to do the whole shebang. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. She just looks like a goddess. For the complexion, I actually don't have her makeup products. I have the fly liner, the new mascara full frontal, the gloss balm, and two shades of the matte lipstick Mademoiselle. Okay, so for the skin, I actually don't have Fenty Beauty products just because, well, they're a little bit up there in price and I'm buying everything, you guys. So make sure to subscribe so I can start to make more money so I can buy more makeup to review, okay? <laughs> so we're just gonna recreate this um, skin base look with whatever we have. I'm gonna start by applying the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. This is actually quite hydrating and I like that. By the way, in three days is Rihanna's birthday. I'm filming this on February 17. I might post this video on Rihanna's birthday. I'm a Pisces like her. If you wanna see just a review with the Fenty Beauty product, you can uh, skip the video to right there. I remember my first song who I sang at karaoke was Umbrella by Rihanna and I was actually with uh, a group of friends and they were like, oh, is that? oh my god, you sing it so well. I just love that song and I enjoy it to sing it and I actually had an umbrella with me and I was singing and dancing at the same time. I loved it. Now, what Rihanna did with Fenty, the fact that she released 50 shades of foundation for everybody to feel included, it was such a great thing and people were like applauding her for that and, and people start to ask for more shades like from more companies and I think she did a great job by doing that and I think she started something amazing when some brands they were releasing foundation and they weren't releasing no dark shades or like very few dark shades they were just like you need to release more dark shades like this is not normal and i understand and i totally agree with that you have to be able no matter what skin complexion you have you have to be able to walk in a sephora drugstore and to find your shade for foundation. And some of her products, they were awarded by Allure. Glass Bomb, they was rewarded by Allure. Okay, off topic, did you guys see the Oscars? I saw that the movie Parasite took four Oscars home and it's actually a Korean movie and um, I wanted to see it. So it's yesterday I was talking with my husband, Sunday night I was like, hey, I wanna see this movie and we found it on Amazon Prime and then I was like, uh, what about to go to movies? And uh, he's like, yes. So we went to movies and we saw the movie Parasite and you guys, it was good. Like, 
if you want to say it go say it don't miss the chance i think it's great i think it's very well written i think the story is amazing i'm just gonna say that it's about a rich family and a poor family and the poor family gets to work for the rich family and some crazy things start to happen it was so so good like it doesn't have the very happy ending which i kind of like sometimes because even though we want to see movies to like for entertainment to cheer ourselves up it ends up with hope but not not a really happy ending you know i think it's a great movie definitely worth the oscars uh i loved it and also saw the irishman which i don't know did they took any oscars which Irishman, a couple of scenes, they were filmed in, uh, I used to live in Queens, in South Queens, right on my street, the Irishman was filmed. And I was like, Robert De Niro and Al Pacino were here, <laughs> like a couple of steps away, literally, from my building. And I was like, this is freaking amazing. Like, it's so good to know. And then you can see, you can see the church in the movie, the church that I used to see every day from my kitchen. And I was like, oh my God, that, that is so cool. Of course, like a lot of movies, they are made in New York. I live in New York City. The fact that they were filming it right where I used to live, I, it was good to see. Back to Rihanna. Oh my God, she launched so many new products, you guys. She launched like everything the eyeshadows and eyebrow pencil and a lot of things like i'm like whoa you know she's not stopping anytime soon and actually you know there are a lot of celebrities out there who wants to you know put their uh, money in makeup but i feel like rihanna kind of put her time too um and her the global makeup artist for Fenty, Priscilla Ono, I think she's a great makeup artist. She said that Rihanna, she uh, puts her time in creating this product and she really has to like them. I kind of can't see that. You know, there are some celebrities out there who create makeup her, or skincare. But it's just like, hey, like you have the money. Give us something new. Give us a nice packaging. Uh, you know, don't just be money grabbing. Of course, I'm not talking about all the celebrities, but there are some, you know, like celebrities out there, influencers who are creating makeup and I don't know, man, it's just like, what's new? Like, <laughs> so the fact that she came with a cute packaging where, yeah, this is like hexagon, the lipsticks are like, um, octagon shape and some of them they are magnetic and they can stick to each other they are compact i i really like that you know it's like this is cool like give us something cool okay for the for the eyeshadow we have a little bit like warm brown kind of orange and i feel like i see a little silver something they on the corner i do not own the rights for this picture sorry for using it Actually, what I wanted to say with the Irishman being filmed right on the street where I used to live, it was filmed during the time I was living there. I know the bar that they filmed at and I know the supermarket where they filmed at uh, because I saw them. <laughs> and I was like, and then I knew that there was gonna be a film that's gonna be shot there, and but I didn't know which one. Now, Rihanna has a five head. I have a five head. That means a big forehead. It's okay. I'm just gonna assume we're smart. And for the eye makeup look, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills in collaboration with Jackie Eye and Eyeshadow Palette. I did a review about this eyeshadow palette if you're interested. So this is actually a very warm color. I'm actually gonna try, we're gonna end up with a dark lip. So I'm gonna do my eye makeup, keeping that in mind. Of course, it's gonna be a full glam night makeup look. I just don't wanna get too crazy on the eye.
so I say it's like all the way in the crease okay I'm gonna take a clean makeup brush and blend everything out so I'm gonna use the Colourpop Smoke Show I'm gonna use the shade Star Struck I'm gonna apply some makeup setting spray which is a really pretty metallic This shade is really something. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna get back into this uh, palette and I'm gonna take the shade Credit and I'm gonna apply that on my outer crease. I'm just gonna pat the color there and after that I'm gonna blend it out. And I'm actually gonna take the shade sponsored which is this green with the, like a red undertone and I'm gonna apply it right here I see she has something going on under the lower lash line and right here closer to the inner corner I'm gonna go with the shade Duala which is an olive gold shimmer and I see she has black on the waterline so i'm gonna go with a black pencil we've come so far i look a little crazy right now we're gonna get to the eyeliner and lashes so for the eyeliner i have the fenty beauty fly liner this is a long wear liquid eyeliner in the shade because i'm black so cute it's not perfectly round you see it has like this shape triangle shape when you open it it has a felt tip all right so it's full of pigment definitely it's a satin black uh, water resistant and fade proof so we're gonna try that definitely definitely stays it doesn't smudge whatsoever let me try with the water see if it's waterproof yes it's waterproof good job <laughs> so let's try the fly liner Now the tip is very sharp, I feel like you can create very fine lines with it. Guys, this is good. I feel like it's applying very well. It's a satin black, which uh, I am usually wearing matte black. I don't mind the satin black, I think it still looks pretty. If you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of felt tape eyeliner, just because uh, they tend in time to like dry, for the tip to dry, and the pigment doesn't really get there to create like a sharp wing eyeliner. Okay, oh, this is made in Korea. I'm actually a fan of brush tape eyeliner which unfortunately you cannot find so many of them out there in the market nowadays uh, but this one is good i like it it applies fast i don't see any issues just a tip for you guys try to put your eyeliners in a support like this in this position you can put it like that too but it's best to put it in this position for the felt tip to not get dry uh, fast I'm trying to put it on the waterline too. I mean, if it's waterproof, it should stay there, right? A wear test will check that. All right, we have mascara. Let's appreciate the packaging. I like their packaging. Uh, they only use this like a silver pink chrome shade. This is full frontal mascara, volume lifts and curl mascara. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna try to use it actually one time with the eyelash curler and on the other eye without the eyelash curler. Of course, an eyelash curler will always make a difference, but I just wanna see how much this mascara curls. It has 12 milliliter, which is a pretty decent uh, size. So the brush, that's like pretty unique about this brush. So it's called flat to fat brush and that's very interesting 
So I'm just gonna try it first at this eye without curling my lashes. I feel like it's a little bit wet because it's new. Most likely I give to mascara like a week to get a little bit more dry. I feel like it really gets in between the lashes. It gives length, volume, but not the most dramatic volume. Like I feel like it separates the lashes and gives them like a medium volume all right this is the difference and on the lower lash as well so far so good guys this is pretty good like it's different from what i really want from my lashes because i really like even more volume this gives enough volume to not be clumpy Okay, and on the other eye, I'm gonna go with an eyelash curler. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Oops, oops, blush alert, blush alert. Oh my God. Okay, I just added a little bit of the pink shade uh, right here in the crease because I see this look, she kind of has like a plum blush and orange and pink on my face. It just felt a little bit off. So I just added that right here in case you don't see that orange there. This is what I did. <laughs> and before we go to the lips, I'm gonna apply a little bit of highlighter and I have the Natasha Donona Love Glow Cheek Palette. I'm gonna take this champagne shade and put it right here. Okay, we have three more Fenty Beauty products and, and I'm gonna start by applying the Fenty Gloss Balm. You guys, I've tried this before. Oh, this is in the shade Sweet Mouth. But this gloss, oh my god. It just smells so good, like peach and vanilla and it feels super luxurious. It's such a nice formula. It's like take, like you feel it on the lips, but it's definitely not sticky. I am really, really amazed by this glass. It just smells so good, but it's not a chemical fragrance. You know, it smells so good and it's like right below your nose and you always have that smell, you know? It just it's amazing I love it I love this glass I swear by it they just released three more shades uh, this one the sweet mouth a more chocolate shade and I think a clear one so this is the shade sweet mouth the glitter is like super super subtle how many milliliters it's nine milliliters it's so luxurious uh, it's $19 or $18. So right now I'm putting on my bare lips. This is how it looks like. It's a sheer color. If you want a really good gloss, uh, this is the one, the gloss balm. I don't want to take it off, but I have two more lip products to try. So I'm gonna take this off. Another lip product, I have the Moitmazelle lipsticks and I have a mini one and the full size one. Uh, the mini one, it's the shade Flamingo Acid. So this is what you get. I got it in a Sephora Holiday uh, lip kit. They say it's full color, but very lightweight. So I'm gonna start by applying the shade Flamingo Acid. Oh my God, look at this, so pretty. I'm just gonna try to apply it as it is. Wow. <laughs> This color is gorgeous. Now it's an intense color, a little bit hard to apply as it is, so I'm gonna go with the lip brush. Wow. Oh my 
my god this is such a beautiful color and it really feels very lightweight it looks like matte satin this shade is beautiful i think it looks good on my complexion i think it will look very good on um, darker complexion as well so i repeat this is the shade flamingo acid and this is like the small one the mini one the big one is like this okay it doesn't make my teeth yellow okay i see it does transfer actually quite a bit but I think it just needs a little bit more time to like dry out very very comfortable on the lips I'm gonna apply a bit of foundation and the last product that we have it's the Mademoiselle plush matte lipstick in the shade Griselda and you guys this is dark okay it's a, like a perfect rich burgundy i would say it's a merlot color more than burgundy i think it might be the shade that she is wearing i'm not sure when this picture is taken uh, but it really looks like something very very similar and for that i'm gonna go with a brush look at that okay so this is the shade griselda you guys i personally love myself a dark lip it's accentuating my lips and i feel like i'm living for it <laughs> this one looks more matte than the other one and if you want to add a little bit more dimension to the lips because they can look a little bit flat you can add just something a little bit lighter in the center i think this shade this is a mac brick oh la la all right guys this is the final makeup look how do you guys like it I applied a couple of single false lashes right here on the outer corner. I feel like she has false lashes too and I wanted to add a little bit of that drama. Thank you very much for watching guys. This is my full face of uh, Rihanna makeup inspired look using the Fenty Beauty product. You just leave me your thoughts in a comment down below. Please make sure to subscribe, ring the bell to get notified when I'm gonna post new videos. I have the Blood Lost by Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette coming soon thank you very much and see you next time bye I know you like kisses. We all know that.